Hello, this is a tutorial about image visualization using uh, 3D Slicer. 3D Slicer is a free program which is available for download from this site www.slicer.org and it allows quite nice visualization of 3D datasets. So uh, assuming that it is installed and download uh, what we can do, we can open our data set and load model. Um, unfortunately, it's quite hard to visualize this in uh, MATLAB because visualization possibilities in MATLAB are quite poor. But luckily what we can do, we can uh, save the data and the model and uh, use 3D Slicer for visualization. Uh, in the easiest way, uh, we need to save image in the format which is uh, directly compatible with 3D Slicer. So I'll make a directory. And I save the file in the nrrd format. Then I'll do the same for the model. I go to the model, save model S and use the same NRRD format. So the data is stored, then I can open 3D Slicer. So uh, in, in, in my view, which you can see now on the screen, I have the, the central part, which is the uh, 3D visualization window and then there are three windows that are for different orientation X, Y, uh, probably Z, Y and Z, X. So the first thing to do is just to open data. So we go click on this the data button and then choose files to add and select both of our uh, materials and then click OK. So uh, the volumes are open now, and then you can see basically there is a data set, and above this data set there is our model. Uh, in order to check this data set, we need to click on this volume button, button and then uh, we can pick the active volume in this uh, active volume uh, dialog. So then under this active volume there is volume information where we can check the, our voxel size. So now the voxel size are actually was stored for the, like a micrometers and the program thinks about them as nanometers. So I will just change this to the proper values and I'll do the same for the labels. Uh, and then I press this uh, small third button to fit this, the view. Uh, one slight important thing here in this dialog it's this label map uh, checkbox because the uh, it indicates that this particular volume is actually a model or segmentation model for the data. If I uncheck this then it will assume this as the data rather than uh, uh, rather, rather than the model so that it, it has to be checked. Okay, let's try to visualize this and then the first thing to try is for example volume rendering it can be selected from this uh, from this uh, list and in order just to see the data set we need to click on this volume uh, there's closed eye button and then uh, I select this fit or center 3d view on the scene button so this is our volume but because our signal was black, it actually looks a little bit uh, kind of, it looks inverted. So we need to change the transparency for this uh, volume. And that can be done in this advanced tab. Uh, I click on this button here and modify the transparency curve so that uh, the lower intensities are opaque and the high intensity are transparent. So I need just to figure it out the 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 proper threshold value. So 
just just by moving the sliders the sliders I can try to find the threshold value so that the data set is uh, shown in the best way now we can see this uh, the volume the one that we used for the modeling if we want to change the color we can do it in this lower part where we can for example I can remove this intermediate points and for example de define this point to be like a red and then uh, the color of this volume uh, will be changed alternatively we can for example use the same mode to visualize our labels we just uh, in this upper part in the volume uh, menu we just select labels and then that would allow us to see the labels of our model so now uh, what we'll try to do we'll try to actually the uh, to use the labels to generate the uh, use labels to generate a model surface model and for that uh, I need to get into the surface models menu and model maker then in this model maker I select the labels the one that I use for the uh, to create the model and create new model hierarchy and uh, there are a number of options I can generate only one material or I can generate all let's generate all the models and press apply okay now we, when it's done we can see that uh, we can see our model which is uh, shown above the volume rendering we can for example go to the volume rendering and uh, turn it off then uh, it will allow us to see the model as we were as it was segmented uh, the uh, the models which is kind of shown here may be mo modified and uh, in order to do that I need to get to the models button and then within this area I can tweak which of the models I actually want to see and which I want to hide so now it shows the lipping droplets and I can probably switch on the nuclear envelope and for example mitochondria and again I can modify the color of those by clicking uh, on this uh, colored square for example to make mitochondria green Unfortunately, sometimes uh, the the saving of this fi file depend uh, have some dependencies in, and it may not work. And in this case, uh, the data have to be saved as TIFF. So I go to image browser, and now I'll save the data as in the TIFF format. Save. I save it as the three D TIFF. And I'll do the same for the model. Go to the model, save model as, and save the model as the TIFF in the TIFF format. Then I go back to 3D slicer. I will close the current scene, and then I'll get uh, select the data sets, which are these two TIFF files. Now they are opened but I need to place the proper parameters first for the for the voxels so they were 13 13 and 30 and the same one for labels then I'll fit to view and uh, I'll need just again to make sure that the label map switch is on and after that these are the two volumes that I have and then I can uh, visualize them use the volume rendering and uh, segment the models out of this so I, I need again to modify the transparency for this which is in this volume properties just to make sure that I see my uh, the structures I like well and the same I can use the 
surface models model maker to generate the model so I select the labels create new key hierarchy and then I can for example uh, let's take label 3 and press apply so hopefully it should uh, render now in the plasma reticulum only yeah so we can see it now on the screen okay thank you for watching